Do you want to know how to solve this cube with only one algorithm? Well stay tuned to find out how. Hey guys, this is Cube, and today I'm going to show you how you can solve this cube with the easiest method possible. So first let's solve the scramble. If you know how scrambling notation works, it's right here. Otherwise just copy the moves I'm doing with green in front and white on top. So now the cube is totally scrambled. So let's start with the first step. After you're done with the first step, your cube should look like this, where the one side is entirely white and all the colors are correct next to it. Before we start with the first step, you're going to have to know how to do this four move sequence. And it goes like this. Right side clockwise, top side clockwise. Right side anti-clockwise, top side anti-clockwise. If you want, you can pause the video to practice doing these four moves over and over. Because you're going to have to do them comfortably if you want to know how to solve the cube. So you can just do it over and over and over until you know how to do all four of them over and over. Let's get back to the first step. So what you're going to have to do in the first step is you're going to have to choose one white corner. It doesn't matter which one of the four white corners it is. But for this video I'm going to pick this one. The white one with the red and green. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to turn the white side to the bottom. And then you're going to have to look for another white corner with one of these two colors. It doesn't matter which one. So for me I'm going to pick red. So now you have to look for a white corner with red with it. Here it is. And what you're going to have to do is, when a corner is on the bottom side, you're going to have to do that four move sequence once to get a corner on the top side. So now what you're going to do is, you're going to take this white corner, where does this red piece need to go? It needs to go here. So you take the red piece, put it over this piece, and then remove, um, repeat that four move sequence until the corner is inserted correctly. Now let's do the next one. Let's do next green. So where is the green piece? It's here with the white piece. So now take the piece all the way here. The green piece needs to go here. So you have to put the corner here because that corner needs to go here. So you do that four move sequence, sequence over and over until the piece is solved. Like that. So as you can see now, three pieces are solved. And now the last piece should be either on the top side or here. If it's already in the correct slot, just not oriented correctly, then it's the easiest one. Then you can just do the four move sequence over and over. But if the corner was somewhere here, then you would just have to put it here and then remove, uh, sorry, repeat the four move sequence. So yeah, there we go. You're done with the first step. After the second step, your cube should look like this, where the top side is yellow and the first layer is done, but not necessarily the second layer, as you can see like this. And what you're going to have to do now is, you're going to have to turn the cube upside down, so that the white is facing top side. And now you're going to have to look for every corner where it isn't oriented correctly. Like as you can see, this corner is oriented correctly, so you're going to have to leave that one. And now you're going to have to put an incorrect corner at the bottom right. And then re repeat that four move sequence over and over until the yellow corner is in the bottom. Like that. Now, as you can see, it's in the bottom. Don't worry about the top side, it will fix itself. So now you're going to have to look for the next yellow corner, which isn't correct, which is this one. And you're gonna, you can only use the bottom side to do moves. And then repeat the four move sequence. There you go. So now, as you can see, three pieces are done, and you do not rotate the cube. Let the cube stay like this, and just move the bottom side and remove the four move sequence. Now we have to fix the last corner, do the four moves over and over until it's solved. And as you would see, now the entire the layer fixed itself and now the entire top side is yellow. So now you are done with the second step. For the last step, you unfortunately will have to learn one algorithm. There are only two cases that can show up. And the way you distinguish the difference between these two cases is, this case has a bar, which basically just means that two pieces that are the same and nowhere else. This case doesn't have any bars, as you can see at all. I'm first going to do this case, the one with the bar. So what you would do is, you hold the bar on the left side, it's important, the left side, and you do this algorithm. I'll put the algorithm right here, but I'll also do it so you can see how to do it. So it goes like this. And that would solve the cube. So the notation is quite simple, R stands for right, U stands for up, and F stands for front. So this is R, this is U, this is F. And the 
the apostrophe just means counterclockwise. So if it's an R, you do this, and if it's an R with the apostrophe, you just do this. A tip for learning these algorithms is take a screenshot of the algorithm. Then what you will have to do is try to do the first three moves. So it's R U R prime. So it's R U R prime. R U R prime. And repeat those three moves a couple of times until you can do three moves. Then do four moves. R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. And then just repeat that until you can do the four moves without failing. So that will take a while and then do five moves, six moves, seven moves until you can do the entire 15 move algorithm. And then by that time you should know the algorithm. For the second case, without the bar, you're going to do the same algorithm, but this time you can do it from any angle like this. So let's do the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F. And the cube isn't solved yet, but now we have the case with the bar. So when you, again, then you do the algorithm with the bar on the left side, so you do the algorithm. And that will solve the cube. I'm going to do one more example solve, just so that you guys can get the hand of it. So here's the example I'm going to give you guys. So again, follow the scramble or just follow me. Okay, so here is the cube. So first of all, we're going to pick a white corner. So I'm going to pick this white corner. And let's first do orange. Where's orange? Here's orange. So again, take the orange where it needs to go and repeat that four move sequence. I'm gonna go a bit faster because I already showed how I do everything. Now I'm just gonna show the example. So next, let's do blue. So here's blue, here's blue. So repeat that move sequence once to get it to the top side. And now, here's blue, blue needs to go here. So repeat that sequence until it's solved. And lastly, red. Red is here, we take it here and we just remove, repeat the four move sequence. until the cube is solved. There we go. So now we rotate the cube like this and we see two pieces are already solved. So now we need to solve these two. So you hold it like this and repeat the four move sequence. There we go. That one is solved. Now we do a D and we solve the last one. And the top side should also be like that, solved. Now we have one of the two cases. Remember, you can either have the bar or you can have this case where there aren't any bar. So luckily we've got the bar case. So again, hold the bar on the left side and you do the algorithm. And then you just adjust the U face to solve the cube. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you could see now on the screen, I'm solving the cube with this method. So obviously this isn't really a fast method, but this method is the easiest method you can absolutely find to solve the 2x2. Two two. If you want to see a more advanced method, you can just click the link here, or you can just go to the description below. And that method you can bring you all the way down to 5 seconds, or even lower than that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and peace.